Number one most important tool is to listen to your body. Always tuning into the body will give us a direct connection to our intuition. So take those couple breaths, take a little time out whenever you need to, check in with yourself, feel. Check in to see what you feel internally. Number two is maintaining your healthy habits. Maintaining your healthy nutrition and exercise habits even when you're traveling, um, even when you're in other cities with friends and family who may not have the same healthy eating habits or exercise that you do. So this requires a little bit of self-discipline and attendance. It will be adapted according to your travel schedule, your holiday schedule. But number two, continuing a version of your exercise and healthy eating. Number three, if you're going to visit family that's a little bit challenging or friends, um, they're a little bit challenging to be around, set a time limit for yourself. A good indication is about four hours to be in direct contact with your family or a challenging person. Four hours and then give yourself a break. Give yourself an excuse to run to the store, maybe go to the gym, um, take a walk outside, just to step out, clear your mind, and get back into yourself, into your center. And the last one today, if you're in a challenging situation, a lot of times at the holiday season, we get into conversations that are a little bit more intense, things that we have been putting off, talking about for a while. A good rule of thumb is to stay in that conversation for 45 minutes. If you're in a really highly charged emotional discussion, um, it's recommended to only be in that conversation for 45 minutes. That's about how long we can stay productive and affirming in a conversation. And then after that, we tend to get into the repeat cycle and the spin cycle and just go back over and over things. Have a great holiday season. Um, blessings from California. Namaste.